I don't care who it is, he's ruining Hamlet. Oh! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! You have fucked up now! Now you fucked up! 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 Now you have fucked up! Man, oh man. There it is. Lincoln. Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln sketch. It's a good Halloween sketch. It's got vampires. Yeah, what a hey. horrible play Othello is. Like, you know, it's like, there's like three minutes of just them going around like the stage, like with <laughs> no dialogue, part. like, yeah. But is that Othello or is that Hamlet? It's Hamlet. Oh, right, it's Hamlet. Yeah, the characters oh, yeah. all the time. Yeah. I, I just realized I can tell people I played Hamlet. Yeah, yeah you played on, the Dane, dude. Look on television. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I uh, the crazy we cut a lot of the Hamlet out. Remember, like this was originally a lot longer, and and we would always do it live longer. So remember, you had this whole like, oh, black diamond of Calcutta, yeah, I right. stare into your minerally depths. Like there was yeah. like, not in there. Oh wow. Well, <laughs> isn't that one of those things that because when we did it live, Sam and I had to keep going, you know, right. like, doing it. Like whereas here, we're just cutting away, so we're just not, not there. But, no, but I know that we cut a bunch out. I know that okay, in the yeah, end, no. we like, we made the decision. We were like, let's just get yeah. to the thing. You're right. And wasn't there a part where he forgets his lines or was that another sketch? Yes, that was another part of it. It's like he, you kept asking oh, the line. line. Yeah, right. and, and to, Timmy would and, be like feeding you the line, which is have to throw him a line, line, right? Yeah. yeah, geez, man, that seems, oh, that's funny. That must have been we a had live moment for time. Line. Okay. So yeah. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't lower your voice. You'd be like, oh, line. Right, okay, yep. <laughs> that was funny. The thing I remember about that is we were like, um, we were like, well, we want to do, uh, a, we want to get a theater that looks similar to Ford Theater. And they were like, well, in upstate New York, there's a scale replica of Ford Theater. And that's yeah. what that theater was. Yeah. Like, yeah. So we went up there and it was in the middle of the summer. We're all wearing wool. Oh. And and it was the hottest. I mean, it was one of the hottest <laughs> working environments I think I've ever been in. Yeah. And it was like everyone's sweating. Like between every take, everyone just had to be like wiped down. My beard kept coming oh, off. Yeah. I remember. And, and the problem is that theater had a natural ventilation system. So the roof like opened up. But for whatever reason, like 20 years ago, they just paved over it. So yeah, it was just- they tarred over it. Yeah. We were, it, yeah. was, it had to be 110 degrees in there. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think what? they said that actually that it was. I think someone actually- measured it and told us that but the, about the hot thing when we shot the other lincoln sketch where i'm playing mary todd i was lucky because i had that big fucking hoop skirt on so i had like a huge so i was just in my underpants in this huge vet hoop skirt yeah. so i was like all free free down there i should have just been free balling it but that'd be we shot way. both those sketches on the same day right i think so yeah because yeah. yeah, you can really? see my beard in that one coming off like in oh, the yeah. it's like hanging yeah. off right yeah well, that's what, what i was just thinking I'm... go ahead what a funny choice of just like, oh, we got two Lincoln sketches. Which should we do? Oh, let's fucking do them both. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they don't like go together. It was such oh, a good thing. Fuck it. We don't have that many great ideas. I do remember when we were shooting this one. Remember Jody had the camera down by you, Trevor and Darren, shooting up at me. And he mm -hmm. was laughing so hard. He had to like leave, which yeah. was like pretty like sad. The camera. the camera was actually moving. Yeah. And we were like, Jody, you got, you got to go, dude. Yeah, that's the uh, press that's board walk away. Yeah. yeah, I just remember being very miserable during that. Yeah, that was a very miserable shoot. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, yeah. Even yeah. on the stage when we were there, oh man, that was hot. One of my favorite things uh, ever is that um, uh, Vince Gilligan, creator of Breaking Bad, did a podcast oh, yeah. where he was talking about how much he loved Whitest Kids. Oh, and cool. he said that he on the set of Breaking Bad, they would always when he would say cut, he'd be like, "Hey, Acty." Acty, and he would—that's how he would talk to Aaron Paul and uh, fucking Walter White. That's and awesome. That oh my God. made I, me happier than just. I'd never, it. I'd never heard that before until this moment. That's great. Yeah. Well, that's there was, there was yeah. during when we were on the air because it was uh, th that was on AMC and we were IFC. They're owned by the same company. Um, I think they were or somebody. It, it was either uh, the Breaking Bad people or, uh, or, or got in Breaking touch Bad. with us. Yeah, Breaking Bad got in touch with us, and they were gonna have what's the uh, what's the guys that the, the uh, Jesse? No, yeah. no, it's gonna be gonna his, have, no, like gonna be Walter's son, Walter Junior, was gonna be watching our show on TV, 
Yes. In the living room. So they were like, are you guys cool if like we're watching Whitest Kids on Breaking Bad? I'd never even heard of Breaking Bad. None of us had. We were like, I don't think I'd watch well, it. Well, I had. I think I had. Yeah. I never heard of it, but I wasn't, I didn't realize it was like the greatest show ever made. At that right. Time. He gave them permission. They, we were like, sure. Like, cause I, I know that I remember that they wanted the um, astronaut mess sketch. I thought they wanted Lincoln. Was it Lincoln? I thought it was astronaut Lincoln, mess. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Um, but I remember, cause I remember, like, I remember thinking that was an odd one to pick, like, hmm. you know, kind of thing. Like Lincoln would make sense because that was like our most popular sketch at the time kind of thing. That I think was a really important sketch in the way that we were writing sketches. Uh, because I remember at the time, uh, the, the idea behind that as a live sketch was that we'd be performing a sketch on stage. We we're doing these weekly shows and that we would be, performing the sketch on stage and then have the the play be interrupted and the sketch happen in the room mm -hmm. yeah and i like would be up in the like, sound booth behind everybody yeah and i think like that idea of like using the space in that way of like not having this the sketch uh uh de delegated to the the stage and have using the entire space was pretty big for us and i think we like did a lot of sketches after that where we utilized that like yep. i think uh shortly after that we did the line leader sketch and yep. I, that was like a, a fun thing for us to play around with i just yeah. remember we would do that one live a lot and every time we did it timmy had to go to a go to a store buy black construction paper and build yeah. the hat so many yeah. times yeah. kept a hat we've talked about this before yeah but yeah we did it comes up. up we would lose it so we yeah we did eventually when we started doing more like tour stuff we would have, I bought one and uh -huh. had it in my suitcase yeah. all the time. But yeah. we were just doing shows in New York. Yeah, it was always the fucking construction paper thing. My hat was always kind of disintegrating yeah. on my head as I was doing the thing. Yeah. It was never. Yeah. By the way, that I was remember once where uh, like we didn't even realize the hat bobble was going to be so crucial to the, yeah. to the comedy. It was just right. like a lucky thing that that hat stayed on my head like that. That was. Pretty yeah. I remember one time we didn't even use black paper. I remember one time we fucking like took a marker and like colored white paper black with a permanent marker and like just because we were horrible at our job. So <laughs> Did we ever bite the bullet and actually go just buy a fucking Lincoln hat? Yeah, eventually, like when we were doing tours, but not like when we were just doing like the local shows every week and stuff. <laughs> and it was always, it was I think always, it was like, I don't know, guys, those are seven dollars. <laughs> it was always that we needed that and a bra because we would yes. do the sexy font sketch, and so <laughs> it would always be like somebody would ask their girlfriend for a bra. Like, yeah, we'd go, we'd go find them. But I bought dollar store bras. I had a ton of them. <laughs> so many awkward conversations. Um, uh, oh my God. I what happened. My favorite, uh, my favorite thing about the Lincoln sketch that I remember is when we started to go on tour and we were playing like these bigger rock clubs or bigger, you know, theaters and venues, like Zach would be like, you know, on second tier or third <laughs> tier or some, you know, some huge rock club. So Trevor would actually have to run all the way up and find his way somehow to get up to the tier. And it would just take like minutes sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it was that, scary. Yeah. I remember that, once, I think it was in Philly, you like climbed the amps yeah. up to yeah, the truck. It was pretty that rad. That was at actually. the Trocadero, which is where yeah. uh, Pearl Jam Pearl. shot their even flow video, yeah. where Eddie Vedder climbs the amps and like jumps in the crowd. And so we were like, oh, that's cool. And so we made, we made it a point that like, or like, yeah, that that's do the Eddie Vedder be. bit. Yeah. 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 I remember being nervous that he was going to fall off that because wasn't it kind of a bit treacherous? I was nervous a lot of times. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> For stuff like that that we did, yeah. yeah. Remember, remember when I uh, we did Bigfoot and Grave Oh, so people are saying there's video of you climbing the amps, Trevor. Let me, on let me find it. Let me find the it. Truck? I think that was like in the the like. Watch this next. Remember when I uh, remember when I uh, jumped into the crowd in Cleveland. Uh, for Bigfoot Gravedigger, and, oh, yeah. I, and I hit like some water on the floor, and I like cracked my head on the ground, and just went, I, I, and I went lights out for a second. Yeah, yeah. Was that he got that injured. Pump? Darren broke his arm shooting, uh, his arm. or not shooting, doing Space Potatoes Alive. Mm -hmm. I remember was that uh, Trevor remember? and I would do Line Leader, and we would like check each other. And there's one day on tour. It was New York. We were doing this long stretch, and. 
Trevor checked me and I was trying to like take it easy because I was a little sore and it seriously like it cracked my ribs and I couldn't lift my arm above my head and then the next night we did it and then I think that was when we were in DC and Trevor got hurt and I remember we were both taking a train from DC to Boston and neither of us could lift our bags to the above the because <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're fucking sketch comedian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, oh yeah, Sam, you... didn't you break your arm shooting American Suicide? Oh no, yeah, I broke my elbow in oh. a weird. Yeah, yeah. Oh, remember, I I, remember when I clotheslined myself and went unconscious when we were doing um, we were doing uh attention add right where i was like hanging myself oh yeah so i like oh, had an extension cord and i threw it over the rafter and usually i just like pretended choke and then i like fall down dead but it, the, it caught on something so i fell and like right before i got to the ground like it went taut so it like snapped <laughs> my fucking neck and i was like was that a tour show where was that no it was a pianos it was at pianos man what about when did you make a panel of the ceiling fall off of pianos once you yeah, that? accidentally yeah well yeah but yeah Yes. And then and then you and Timmy destroyed a um a projector, a, screen. A projector screen that we had to pay for at a college. Yeah, dude, oh, that's oh, oh, like two thousand dollar projector. Timmy gets screen. up and walks away. Yep. Yeah. We're like the Nirvana of sketch shows, man. It's pretty fucking cool. Oh no, I didn't walk. That's what everyone says. Yeah. I know. I'm just being. <laughs> <sick. Pretty laughs> I funny. didn't walk away because of that. I was. I started thinking about something. Uh, a zucchini. The no, only other well, thing that okay, I. Yeah. That, that I think about with, with the Lincoln that I think is worth mentioning is we've actually gotten, people have, have called this, this sketch racist. Um, why, wait. Why? And I would just like to point out, there are plenty of white people who talk the way Lincoln talks in this sketch. And, Dude, uh, come see my oh, movie in I Watertown, see. South Dakota. I see. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Um, all yeah, right. White people are terrible about that too. Everybody is. <laughs> all right, let's... Um, all right, I'm gonna. I found the uh, the video from the. I want to see that. Philly. All right, here we oh, go. Cool. <laughs> and I'm gonna use it, but I want you to rewind the play. That fat ass piece of shit was talking, and I couldn't pay attention to what was going on in Hamlet. So I want to see Hamlet again. Go back to the beginning of Hamlet action. Okay, again. that's it. I'm gonna do what I should have done a long time ago. John, what are you going to do? I'm gonna beat him to death with this hammer. John. <laughs> That's pretty it, fast. Dude, that that was, that's impressive. That yeah. was very and athletic. You like know? The, two seconds. Yeah. The distance from like the the below the stage to the stage was like six feet. Yeah, dude. You. Yeah, that's that a was, high stage. Yeah. Yeah. That's impressive. Cool, man. You've got that Super Mario bounce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Someone says Trevor is just tall. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he has the cheat code. Yeah, yeah, Trevor. Do you think you could do that today? Yeah. 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 I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't feel like. Uh, I don't feel physically that much different than ten years ago. When was that? Was that ten years? Yes, you are, buddy. I'm sure. Good, I know. Trevor, do you still get good boners? Yeah. Great yeah, boners. Great. Great. Fantastic great. boners. Great. <laughs> Wait, are you, are any of you not getting good boners anymore? No, I definitely 100% am, for sure. No. What age? Oh, okay. me too. Yeah. What age do boners go away? I feel like around 60. Really? Hey, Chad, are any of you over 60 and lost your boners? Please yeah. chime in. When do people uh, lose boners? I, I think 60 oh, is what I would imagine. But, that, but no one does anymore. I think you can still get them after 60, but you need medicine. Yeah, they have medicine and lasers and shit. Yeah. You know. I, I always hear people lose their boners uh, during uh, marriage. Mm -hmm. Marriage. Hey. hey. Oh. oh man, where's your where's your bow tie and cigar? Oh. Hey, he'll be here all night. Ooh. Welcome, welcome to the Cat Skills. That movie Lincoln is my new uh, need to go to sleep movie. I just remember there's a scene where like Lincoln is sitting there and uh, telling jokes to people late at night. And, oh really? Yeah, and like, and I, and I guess it's supposed to be like, look how charming Lincoln was, but it's like, this just, just just get to the stuff. Yeah. They don't even show Lincoln get shot. In, in, in the movie? Some of the Spielberg films? No. Or? Yeah. It's like, okay. boiler. what's the most interesting thing about Lincoln? He got shot in the head at a theater. Like, you know, and then they do this whole movie of just him, like, telling stories. And then he's like, well, time to go to the theater. And then it's credits. And you're like, that's what we were here for. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> you fucker. I imagine you in the theater, in the movie theater, and they're like, like we're going to the theater. And you're like, oh, Amy, this is the good part. It's about to happen. I'm like, like dude, nice we got to go see Lincoln. Do you know what happens? <laughs> dude, I- Credits are all you're like, it's, they're, they're going to do an after credit scene, I swear. Yeah, yeah. It's a post credits where he's like, oh, okay. Uh, that was a good story I just told. Oh, let's see what this plays like. <laughs> like. You're like, yes, yes. <laughs> and then John Wilkes Booth, sw- Booth walks into a dark room and Samuel Jackson turns around like, I'd like to talk to you about the Avengers <laughs> <laughs> 